guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome, my name is Katie and today we're gonna be back in the kitchen. I'm super excited for this video today because I'm going to be sharing with you three um, appetizer ideas. I know that this season that we're going into with Thanksgiving and then Christmas and then New Year's, this is the time of year when there's a lot of get togethers. Whether you're hosting a holiday dinner at your home or you're having Friendsgiving, or you have a church meal or potluck to go to. Um, there's just so many different occasions where you need to come up with something before I get together. And appetizers are super easy to make and they're also so good to eat. Who doesn't love to eat a good appetizer? I know I do. I also like making them, they're really fun. And even me and my husband will sometimes even have appetizer night where we just eat appetizers for dinner instead of like a real dinner just because it's fun. <laughs> so I'm going to be sharing with you guys three different appetizers um, that you can make this year for any little get together or party that you have coming up. So the appetizers that I'm going to be making is a buffalo chicken dip. I love buffalo chicken dip. I have loved it for a long time. It's one of my favorite like go-to dips for any type of party. I usually always make it in my crock pot, but I'm going to be tweaking this a little bit following a recipe on Pinterest. And this will be a layered buffalo chicken dip that I bake in the oven. So it's a little bit different from what I usually do. So I have never done it this way. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. Um, the next thing is another dip. This is spinach artichoke dip, which I love spinach artichoke dip. So good. I have never made it myself though. I've always bought like the pre-frozen ones um, that you just cook. So I'm excited to, you know, give it a try, try it out myself and hopefully it turns out good. And then the last one is um, a meat appetizer and this is Little Smokies and it looks pretty simple. Again, I have never made this one either, but we're going to take Little Smokies, wrap them in bacon, sprinkle some brown sugar yumminess on them and then bake those. Um, I think it's going to turn out really good. So. These are all three new recipes that I've never tried before, so we're going to be doing this together. I did find all of these on Pinterest, and I will have the full recipes, the link to those, in the description box. So as you're watching, if you see one that you think that you want to try out, you can find the link, and it will have the whole recipe with the measurements that you need there. So um, I'm going to go ahead, preheat the oven, and we're going to get started. Okay, first up is the buffalo chicken dip. I went ahead and baked three chicken breasts and I'm just shredding them up, them up here. Now I'm going to pour in some of this Sweet Baby Ray's um, buffalo wing sauce, it's so good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a big Ziploc bag and then I can just shake it up really good. I just find that that's the easiest way to make sure that all of the chicken gets coated really good with the sauce. Okay, I've been letting my two bricks of cream cheese sit out at room temperature so it's nice and soft and easy to spread. So you're just going to spread both of those blocks of cream cheese into the bottom of your dish and then go ahead and pour the buffalo chicken right on top of that. Next you're going to take a little bit of ranch and kind of spread it on top of the buffalo sauce. Um, doesn't have to be too much but it just kind of helps even out the heat of the buffalo sauce. Next, you're going to put about two cups of mozzarella cheese on top and then you're going to bake it for like 15 to 20 minutes and it's done. This was so good. I actually made this and then took it to our friend's house for a little get together. So this clip is from their house. You can kind of see um, what it looks like, the finished product. Super yummy. I also wanted to share this with you. Um, a company called Suisse reached out to me and wanted me to try out um, one of their products to share with you guys. And I'm super excited for this because this goes perfectly with this video, with appetizers, with parties, with the holidays coming up. Um, and this is what they sent me. <laughs> These are ceramic rectangular um, platters. So these are going to be perfect 
for party hosting, especially if you're doing appetizers or breads, even desserts you could put on these um, on your table and it would be so pretty. So I do like how they have a bit of a lip here. I really like that so nothing's gonna roll off of this um, platter. It's a pretty good size. Also on the back, it does say that it is microwave and dishwasher safe, which is a mom's best friend. You can throw these in the dishwasher. You don't have to worry about hand washing them because who has time for that? Um, they're also lead free, so they're safe. And these are oven safe. So you can even stick these in the oven if you needed to um, warm something up that you've already laid out before your party starts. Um, I just think that these are so pretty. I love the white, it looks clean, it looks sleek, it looks modern, but at the same time, I feel like this goes with any um, theme. You know, if you're having a themed party, especially like Christmas colors, white and red go perfect together, and even Thanksgiving. I mean, white goes with everything. It's classic and it's classy. So definitely go check out Suisse. You can find them on Amazon. I'm gonna have the links in my description box if you're looking for some new, um, uh, like platterware like this for your holiday parties coming up. Thank you, Suisse, for sending these to me. Um, and I'm going to be using these later on in my video to display my appetizers. So be looking for that. Okay, now I'm going to start on the spinach and artichoke dip. And I need to drain the artichoke um, hearts. And then also, this is the thawed frozen spinach. I'm also going to drain that and get all the excess juices out of there. You don't want any of the um, liquid from either one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before I put it together. Next, you're just going to dump everything, all the ingredients into a mixing bowl. I went ahead and used my KitchenAid mixer just because it's so convenient. But if you don't have one, that's fine. You can mix it by hand. Um, there's there were several ingredients for this you can kind of see what I used right here You can also go to that link in my description box that will have the full list of ingredients But it was seriously like so simple to put together I had almost all of the ingredients on hand already So don't let the number of ingredients intimidate you. It was really easy to make added all the ingredients you just want to mix it really well so that everything is mixed very thoroughly okay after you've mixed it all up you're gonna go ahead and put it in your dish and then you want to layer it with a little bit more mozzarella and Parmesan shredded cheese on top. And then go ahead and bake that for 20 minutes. And that was done.
good. The flavors were amazing together. It was seriously so easy to make. Um, we used, we dipped ours with um, tortilla chips, but you could use crackers, you could use um, like pita bread, you could even use veggies if you wanted to, like carrots I feel like would be really good dipped in this. So there's a lot of different possibilities that you could do, um, but definitely try this one if you're a fan of spinach artichoke dip. we're gonna do for this video and this could not be any simpler there's only three ingredients and that is little smokies bacon and brown sugar so you can use whatever little smokies you want the ones I grabbed happen to be cheddar um, I thought that sounded really good and then for bacon you just want to make sure that it's not the thick sliced because as you can see I am wrapping it like completely around the little smokies and it looks like a lot of bacon the bacon will shrivel up a little bit when you put it in the oven to bake, and you'll see that at the end of the video. You just don't want to use thick sliced, it's just too thick um, to cook thoroughly. So you're going to wrap all of your um, little smokies, and then you just want to take, I think it was three-fourths of a cup of um, brown sugar and sprinkle that all over. Um, really so simple, but the flavors on this after it baked, you're going to bake it for like 45 minutes. Oh my goodness, this was so good. My husband, he was like in heaven. He loved this. Um, so this definitely got a 10 out of 10 for us. I'll definitely be adding this into my regular um, appetizer rotation. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing these different appetizer ideas and hopefully this gave you some inspiration if you have any events coming up that you um, need to bring an appetizer to. If you do decide to try one of these out, please come back and let me know what you thought about it. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions. And also, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more, I have so many more appetizer ideas, things that I have made before, new things that I want to try. I could totally do another one of these, like a part two, um, if you guys would enjoy watching that. So please do let me know that in the comments. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Because suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hand, said, let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy